All right, back on here, let's see where we're at. We need an ASU second portion, create link, and invisible rectangle also. Next, go to it, so we're setting three. Oh. There we go, set link. Now we have all of our sources set, and references, we could probably set this up as a HTML to view. Uh, you can save a web page and then open the web page even though you're not connected to the internet in the court I'll probably go over that again at another point in time but let's stick with it simple ones is local offline documents first so we will same thing as this create link go to page 93 invisible rectangle um, yeah well let's do a visible rectangle this time make it a dashed line make it blue so that way it's not going to be too visible but still it'll pull our eyes to this because it's sort of an important factor here so the azimut, azimut injection from the manufacturers will be what we will be sourcing right now so page view this will be our last page it's a vertical page so right here fit to window okay definitely need this because it's a vertical page set link Patient stable, recommended IV dose is this. This is actually inside of our last page. And I'm gonna try and make this a double page here. All right, so let's actually show another portion of this so we can highlight this very important uh, recommendation here. So let's basically take this page and this is gonna be 93, so let's insert it from file again. So doc. Oh man, no, all files. 93. Last page. After the last page. Okay. Just inserted it in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to basically, this is the entire page. We're going to basically add in a square box so that way we bring their attention and we're going to try and highlight it, okay? So we're, so we're going to want to go to comment and annotations and drawing markup. This is a very important area. Oh, this is not recognized as text right now. So let's go back to our OCR text recognition. In this file, current page, searchable image, no. Searchable image exact, so that way it doesn't mess with what we see. It'll always look the same. The other ones will change how it looks. Now let's go back to comments, annotations, and we're gonna highlight this. Wham, there we go. So we, now we have a very important piece of, of information that's been highlighted and brought to the attention of the, pro the prosecutors or the defendants or whoever we need them to, to be brought to. And let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and change uh, one of our sources uh, for our comments from rather what it should be, uh, for our, from what it is to what it should be and source that really quick, which should be the addition we just added. So let is, let's click on Tools, Content Editing, Edit Images, and Actions, Edit, page 10. I think Fit Width should be fine. So that way we pull to it. And let's try it out. Click to it, goes right to that. You can do fit width or fit to screen, both will work, but this should show you kind of demonstrate what it can do. And there's quite a few more things that you can do with Adobe. But we're going to stop here for right now. Actually, let's go over two last things. Uh, the first one's going to be one's going to be adding in the, the image file as a shortcut link. Uh, so let's go with that. Just watch and I'll explain, sorry. Uh, the patient noted to have hives on the left hand. Why well, just grab the picture of hives on the hand really quick just to demonstrate this so we want to create a link we want to open a file visible no we don't want visible okay, well actually we do because it's not a page number so we'll just go with visible rectangle in blue dash none 
next, open a new file. I save this hand showing rash. We can change it to any size you want, but now when we click on it, open, and we have this. So we can edit it, make it smaller, use change the software that it uses, but I mean, do other things there later. Um, so then the next thing is going to be I want to show you. I'm going to add in a button, a return button. I know it's going to be funny, but it should should work and show you an example. Let's start by adding in some of these thumbnails. Uh, I'm going to add image. Should be one right around here. Is the button that I created? There we go. Now edit visible rectangle. No, no, we have a button right there. Should be fine. All right. Go to page view. Perfect. And we want one fit to window and set link. And I'm gonna throw this on all the rest of the ones so you can see what it looks like. 